Awards. I was inspired by watercolors and kind of just how you blend all the colors and how you can get that drip pattern and everything and I just really love watercolor painting in my free time so I figured I would try it out with makeup. I've never really done anything like this before. I've never done this extensive of blending and all these different techniques for putting on makeup and I've never done a drip before and I just thought this was so fun. I had to share it with you guys and I love how you can just express your artisticness, your creativity through makeup and that's what I do through makeup every day and in painting. So you'll probably see in the footage that I have some with the dripping lips and some without. Um, the reason for this is I just wanted to give you guys both options. So I'll show you how I did the dripping lip, but for right now, I felt like cleaning it up and just having a very normal lip. If you wanna see how I got this look, just watch now. Hi beauties. So first, let's grab a primer and put that all over our face. Next, we're gonna get a concealer and put this all over our problem areas and then blend it with a brush. Next, I'm putting foundation all over my face, neck, and chest, anywhere that I'm going to be putting body paints and makeup. Then I grab some setting powder and I put that under my eyes, on my forehead, and any places that I know get pretty oily. Then I'm grabbing a contour shade and I'm going into my cheekbones. I'm doing this kind of heavy because I really want my cheekbones to stand out. Then I'm grabbing my Turn the Other Cheek Butt Naked palette from NYX and a very pink blush and adding that to the apples of my cheek to put some color back into my face. When my powder is done sitting, I am going to grab a big fluffy brush and just brush off all the excess. Then I'm grabbing my NYX a Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm drawing a mask basically on my face. And this is so I know where not to put the shadows under. And this looks messy, so it'll get under there anyway, but this is just a guideline. And then I'm filling it in and I'm putting it all over my lids and under my eyes and just really blending it in with a brush to get the most full coverage I can. And then I'm going over it with a face paint just to make it even more full coverage. Now here's where you can really express yourself creatively and just have fun with it. Basically, I'm just grabbing a bunch of loose eyeshadows and I started off with this blue and then I go to a purple and then I go to a lighter blue and just play around with the colors and make it look however you want. I had a very light hand to make this look more like watercolors and I just very lightly patted it on and brushed it on and tried to blend it. The only suggestion I would have is every color you use, do a little dot under your under eye so that later when you go to do the tears, you have kind of a base for where the tears are gonna go. But other than that, I am just putting shadows all over and just trying to make it look as fun and as creative as I can. And I'm just kind of having a blast mixing all these colors together. Now to give this look even more of a dimension, I'm going in with the NYX Prismic eyeshadows in Mermaid and in Frostbite and this just gives it kind of like a highlight kind of a shine But it also adds a lot of dimension and then I'm just going in with a cream shadow and I'm putting that Sporadically all over my face and blending it in with my fingers Splatter time! So to do this is incredibly easy and it's so much fun. Basically all I did was I got a very wet brush and I dipped it in different types of eyeshadow and different types of paint and then you just want to flick it wherever you want on your face and it's going to give this kind of like splattered kind of crazy look. I really liked it and here I'm just trying out a little bit of a drip but then I'm splattering it all over and I'm using yellows and blues and greens, orange, red, pink, and purple. I really just had a blast with this. This is honestly so much fun. I may have done a little bit of overkill with all the splatters, but once you try it out, you'll realize how fun it is and it really gives all these different layers to your makeup. Then I went in with this big fluffy brush and I kind of just stippled colors all over. It's almost like a splattered look, but it gives just a little bit of a different texture and I thought it looked really cool. 
Then I played around with this white and I got some in my eye, so I took a break for a second. <laughs> I used a blue eyeliner on my bottom water lines to make my eyes pop and a black on my uppers to make my lashes look more full. I then made a baby wing with my NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker and I did a little bit on my upper lash line as well. I then lined my upper lash line with the NYX Colored Felt Tip Liner in white and I just really love how this white looks in contrast to all of the colors. Then off camera I just added some mascara and some falsies. And now it's time for the drip. I love this, it's so much fun. So basically, I just saturated my brush with color and water, and I put that right where I wanted it to do a little tear. And I just kept adding more water until the tear fell. And then when it got to the point of where I wanted it, I either caught it with my finger or I caught it with a brush. And this is so fun, I can't even tell you. I don't know why, but it's just amazing. It's so fun making these little colorful tears. And then I had a little bit of an issue with the blue, so I kind of drew down the tear and eventually once it got past my almost my cheekbone, it started dripping by itself and it was okay. And then I did the same thing with the orange and caught it with a brush. And then I went in with the pink, and the pink started looking a little bit too hot pink. It started looking a little red, but I almost like how that looked. It just added so much color, and it almost looked neon. It was crazy amazing. Then I went over all of my tears with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Pink, and it's almost a purple pink, so I really went over the purple and this kind of hot pink with it, and it really just made it pop like it made it glittery and it just added so much dimension to it I really love how glitter just transforms it and then I added some blue glitter to the blue teardrop for my lips I started off with a lip pencil and I just overdrew my natural lip so I had more of a workspace then I filled in my lips with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, and this is just my favorite color. It's like an awesome nude shade. And then I went in with this purple lipstick, and this is for the drip. I just kind of put a little bit on my upper lip and then just painted in where I wanted it to be filled in. And then I added some pink just to get the shade I wanted. And I come back to this later, but I wanted to work on my neck and chin. So basically I just added all the colors that were on my face, I just added them to my neck and my jawline. What's kind of fun about this is you can really sculpt your jawline to however you want it to look. And again, I just really played around with colors and tried to make it almost look like clothing or a tattoo. It was awesome. Then I got this white paint and this angled brush and I added a lot of water to my brush so it would drip. And this white drip, again, just like the white eyeliner on my lids, it just looks so cool with the colors. And then I was tilting my head so that the drips or like the teardrops, whatever you want to call them, would drift in the position or in the angle that I wanted them to so that I wouldn't have to draw them on. I would literally just let it naturally drip. So I went back to my lips and I added just the lip gloss straight on top and then with a brush added a lot of water so that it would drip how I wanted to. And that's how you could do it if you want to do the drip. The drip's kind of cool, but it gets really messy really, really fast, but it's great for pictures or if you're doing like a short video. If you're not going to do the drip, I suggest using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Moscow. This is kind of like a really dark blue and it's beautiful, oh my goodness, I love it and it's full coverage. And basically that's the look. Just have a lot of fun with it, play around with colors, play around with textures, dimensions, techniques. It is so much fun. I don't know if I've ever had this much fun doing a makeup look and I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and just comment if you want to see something else. Bye beauties, love you. Mwah. <laughs>